developments attend tonight. International students from Western Iowa Tech Community College claim they're being underpaid and overworked and even using the term human trafficking to describe their situation. And they allege they are being used to fill a worker shortage in the area. Tonight, the president of WIT and some international students in the program are answering the allegations. In May, Western Iowa Tech Community College started a J-1 visa program. They say the program would give students the opportunity to work and study in their fields of study. The students claim 60 of them from Chile and Brazil were recruited by school officials and a local staffing company and arrived in July and August. They claim in a contract signed by the students, they were to get free tuition, housing, food, and a paid internship in their field of study. Today, KTIV's Jennifer Lenzini was at Western Iowa Tech as the college held a news conference to address the allegations. She also sat down with three international students in the program who say allegations against the college are untrue. Jennifer? Yeah, Matt and Stella, first and foremost, President Morrell admitted the program is not perfect and it troubles him that the students feel abandoned, but adds he was just made aware of the concerns. We were shocked and saddened to learn of our students' experiences and heard about many of these concerns for the first time yesterday. We fully realized this process wasn't perfect and that we met some challenges. Despite everything, we are still 100% committed to our students' success. Tonight, I sat down with three students from Chile that are in the program. They all agree they are grateful for the opportunities that WIT has given them. One student who works at Turpac Foods Incorporated acknowledges that the work isn't easy, but he says no work is, and he's grateful to even have a job. If you want something, do you need to work for that? It's not free. Do you need to work? Do you need to learn? Do you need to be a strong? I have my passport. Mm -hmm. I can talk with my family every day. I can go to the cinema. I am free here. I am not a slave. I spoke with another international student from Chile that works in the college admissions office. She says that she's upset with the group of international students that are claiming the situation is human trafficking. I can tell this is not human trafficking. We were free to go anywhere. Um, and we nev and when we start working, I mean this internship and the money we get from that, we never had to give them. You know, it always, it was always for us. Perez adds that she thinks the students that are saying these allegations are young and don't want to do the hard work that is required. She says that every student signed a document when committing to the program, agreeing to attend their classes and to show up to work. She believes that students that are claiming the college is threatening deportation are not meeting those requirements. The third student I spoke with says that he has diabetes and has had to call into sick to work. He says his employer was understanding. Matt and Stella.